This is a booking photo of Terry Peter Rasmussen taken in 1973 in Arizona when he was arrested as a fugitive from justice. He was arrested again in Phoenix in 75 for aggravated assault. Authorities are releasing this picture and an updated timeline for Rasmussen in hopes of identifying his connection to an adult woman and three children found murdered in Allenstown and the disappearance of Manchester's Denise Bowden decades ago. The ultimate goals in all this work, uh, it, we hope, will sum up in identifying the Allenstown victims and finally giving them their names back and finding out what happened to Denise Bowden and any other potential victims that Terry Rasmussen may have. Rasmussen's 75 arrest shifts an important piece of his timeline forward a couple of years. Officials say in 75 or 76, he was seen with an unidentified woman by his family in Arizona, two or three years later than originally thought. DNA tests have proved that Rasmussen is the father of one of the murdered children in Allenstown, and investigators say this new timeline makes it more likely this unknown woman could be the mother. That's certainly possible. Uh, if she isn't, we certainly have concerns about her anyway, knowing what we know about this man, essentially, that he is a serial killer. Rasmussen died in a California prison in 2010. He crossed the country under many different names, and while his ties to certain people and places have been confirmed, there's a lot investigators don't know. I think this case has shown that we keep getting little bits and pieces of this puzzle, and I think it just takes that right person to recognize uh, Terry and, and say, you know, yes, I, I knew so-and-so. There was a female that I knew who was dating this man. Investigators hope that more exposure on this case will help generate more leads here in New Hampshire and also on the West Coast. Reporting live in Manchester, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.